lots of your players have been away. Is everyone back? Is everyone back okay? Yeah, uh, the players that were playing with the national teams uh, are fine. We have uh, Cahill, Rami, still working with the Fishers, but the rest of the team is fine. So how would you rate them for this weekend, Cahill and Ramirez? Still we have uh, a couple of days, we will see, but uh, they were in a specific training session to play with the Fishers. So I think they, they can be available, but uh, we'll be close, we will see. And remind me what, what the problems are with... Okay, with the knee, knee. and uh, Rami with the pubis. Um, Growing, how, how, is, how is John Terry? Has he benefited from his international retirement? I don't know. What I can say is that uh, he was training with us uh, this week and he was doing well. So I'm really pleased with his uh, evolution. Do you sense that he is now through that period where it was one step forwards and two steps back or two steps forward and, and one back? Yeah, in terms of the injury, yes. Uh, he's uh, training every day and he's improving his uh, fitness. It's just a question of how many games can you play, and not just for young, it's for the rest of the team. So we will have uh, four games in nine, day, nine days, so it's the same for everyone. They cannot play all these games uh, and be 100% uh, of uh, their fitness, not just him, everyone. And how do you, how do you feel about that? that period that's coming up with so many games. It's better to have this problem than not to be at home watching the telly, so I think it's, uh, it's better to have uh, this schedule mean that uh, you are progressing and, and you are still competing. Fernando Torres wasn't called up by Spain. Uh, the first time, I think, for a qualifying game that he hasn't been part of the squad. How has he taken that? It was kind of harder, even harder if you can say that. So Spain has a lot of good players, so it's normal that they, sometimes they can leave some good players uh, out of the list, but uh, in terms of uh, his reaction, you're training really well. They, we have five players uh, last week, and they were trained very, very well, all of them, and Fernando uh, this week was the same, so it's working very hard. What did you make of Del Bosco's comments? Let me read them to you, if you didn't hear them. He said, especially for strikers, inconsistency worries us. And Fernando's inconsistency provoked a sense of insecurity in us. I have a very good relationship with uh, Vicente with the Bosque, and uh, he will analyse uh, his team and his players, and I will analyse my players. So Fernando has been training and working very hard for us and playing some good games, and we know that uh, he would like uh, to score more goals, but I'm really pleased with uh, his contribution for the team. Do you think he has? Uh, do, you, do you sense that he's determined to prove himself to be part of the, the international scene for the, for the next World Cup? I think that all the players, uh, they want to prove themselves every every game. Today I was talking with Demba, and we were talking about uh, him as a penalty, but uh, he's uh, doing well also uh, with us. So I think that the strikers, especially the strikers, they want to score goals. But uh, for me, it's not just to score goals, it's what they can do for the team. And both players are, are doing really well for us. Tell me what you've, 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 you've made of Mauricio Pochettino since his arrival at Southampton. I think he's, uh, he's doing well. It's not easy for a, a new manager, but uh, still I think that um, they were doing a very good job with uh, Neil Atkins, so I think they were really pretty well. And now they can keep this... Um, style, this idea, because uh, I had a very good opinion about them before and I have a very good opinion now, so I think that Pochettino is, is doing a good job, but they were doing a good job before. Do you think there is a difference, though? do you think he's had an impact? I think he's doing well, but um, again I would say that um, it was a difficult team to play against before and will be a difficult team to play against now, so I won't I don't want to take any credit to Pochettino because I think he's doing really well, but before they were doing well too. They were 16th at the moment, two places and five points above the relegation zone. Do you see them surviving? It wouldn't be fair for the other teams. I think that all the teams involved in the relegation battle, they are working very hard. So, But my feeling is that um, they have a good team. They have... Um, a good understanding of the game and uh, they have some good players so they will have a chance.